It's a dirty little secret of the algae industry that algae goes bad very fast. Once you harvest it and it's concentrated, it's like fish. I don't know if you've ever tried eating really fresh fish. You know, that's just been harvested. It's got that wonderful fresh flavor. There's no fishy flavor. It's the taste of the ocean. That's what you get when you harvest algae. It doesn't smell. How algae starts to smell when it decomposes. So when you've been around algae scum in ponds and wetlands and so forth, that is the rotting algae. Well, you don't want that. What you want is the pristine, pure, clean algae so you can have the nutritional applications, animal feed, fertilizer, and still fuel and chemicals. Why? Because you don't want the product degraded by losing the valuable oils. The amazing thing we learned was that our own process, which is energy efficient, chemical free, high rate of productivity, also kills most of the bacteria. 99% of the bacteria is killed while we're harvesting the algae, and the algae remains whole. Then we did more experiments in which we put algae biomass, cultivated with the, with the algae appliance, and harvested with a centrifuge, and we put them in an incubator. The algae that was harvested with a centrifuge only endured for a few hours. The algae that was harvested with the appliance didn't have any bacteria. This is an amazing breakthrough because we used to think of algae producers as having to have all their processing on site. And now we can think of algae farms being cheap operations thrown up somewhere and they generate the algae paste using our process and they can ship it to the downstream processors and you have shelf stability. Shelf stability creates an industry. We figured out how to take the extraordinary inventions by my brother Nicholas and reduce them to practice. That is a phase that we've been able to achieve because the team from Nicholas, of course, in research, all the way through the engineers and the general managers are all able to absorb this research and make it engineering practice.